Prince put his musical prowess on display nine years ago at the Super Bowl halftime show. One person who knew the extent of his talents is Epic Records chairman and CEO L.A. Reid. He tweeted last night, this is what it sounds like when the world cries. Prince, I already miss you. Wow, your melodies will live on forever. L.A. Reid joins us right now here in the studio. Good to see you. It's great Antonio to be here. LA it's so great to LA see you guys Reed. celebrate the life of, of this great, this genius yeah. musician, artist, performer. You know, as sad as I am, I'm really happy that he's being celebrated. Yeah, and the more course. you hear, yeah, the more you hear, and the more that you mm -hmm. read about him, it's it's fascinating. Did he like being odd and mysterious? Uh, I think Prince really loved the theater of mystery, mm -hmm. is how I put it. Right? Um, he understands the stage, and he's on stage even when he's not on stage. <laughs> he's always Prince. When I when I was around him, he was always Prince. There was never a moment that it was like, okay, mm -hmm. we're going to take off the Prince mm -hmm. and just become, you know, Rogers Nelson. Uh -huh. Always but on. But might it be a different Prince each time or different times? Uh, well, he was a Gemini, so, you know, that comes with the turf. That comes, you know, <laughs> yeah. with the package. Because he know? was very different in that uh, piece we saw with Tabitha Smiley. Yeah, uh, yeah, because he can be, you know, um, uh, reflective at times because, mm -hmm. you know, he was also really intelligent. Um, mm -hmm. as He was equally as intelligent as he was talented. Yeah. But sum him up musically. Oh, my God. It's, 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 it's so many ways. Um, I, I read earlier today, and I hope I don't mess this up, but I read that he was um, as defiant as James Brown, as traditionally, um, um, what, is, what is it, as traditionally masculine as Teddy Pendergrass, mm -hmm. as insightful as Paul Simon, and as electric as Michael Jackson. Man, mm -hmm. yeah. all in one. All in one. Yeah. And, and his music, it defies categorization because there was blues, there was jazz, there was rock, there was funk, there was gospel, right? All in one, and yet the music was commercial and, and huge, big hit songs, so um, one of a kind. And, and he did it all. Yeah. yeah. I keep thinking, like, too, of course, his music, iconoclastic, but too, as a businessman. I mean, yes. the way he battled with Warner, the way he wanted, he was, he, he didn't like digital, you know, he didn't like streaming. Right. Describe that side of him. Well, it's interesting because he was as comfortable talking to other performers as he was talking to lawyers. Brilliant. You know, like we, we, we have a lawyer at Sony, Julie Swidler, who has spent so much time talking to Prince about business, about compulsory licensing, uh, and he'll spend as much time doing that with comfort as he would with, you know, uh, Alicia Keys, mm -hmm. you know, as a musician. I mean, he's just really he, the greatest and I've said it many times and I'm not saying it because we lost the great one but to me he's always been the greatest you mm -hmm. know um, and no one's even close you said he was a big influence on you are you talking about your yeah. clothes are you talking about your music <laughs> your <laughs> sense of style <laughs> he's an influence on my clothes today because yeah. I'm wearing my purple shirt which is a little but back in the day but when we were clothes, kids yeah. you know, when we were kids uh, and just <laughs> learning to play I shouldn't even say kids I was probably 20 um, <laughs> And I had a band, and we found our way because we became Prince fans. So we created a band completely centered around Prince. And when we would play in the nightclubs, we had Prince compositions and our own compositions. Mm -hmm. So in truth, we were a Prince yeah. copy band that uh -huh. got signed to a recording contract. At, at, here's what's interesting you know. to me. At 57, when he, di he died at 57, yeah. and the last concert was Prince on a stage alone at a piano. Yeah. I mean, it, it is really pretty interesting. I mean, you know, it, in, in a lot of ways, it takes a great performer, musician, to even do that. Uh, yeah. Most of us, you know, require so many props, so many others, uh, but he was, he was so great that he could do it by himself, you know. Uh, the one thing that, you know, kind of spooked me about it all what? was um, he has a song called uh, let's go crazy. crazy yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it says, "Don't let the elevator bring us down." And well, he died. One time when I was with him privately, he mm -hmm. said, "You know what the elevator is, right?" No. I said, "No, what's the elevator?" He said, "Well, the elevator is the devil, right?" Oh. It scared me. You know, I don't like to talk like that, but he said that, and so for me, it was like really haunting when I read that he was found in an elevator. So what did do you think he, he meant by that? Did he have health problems? Uh, that I don't know, right? What I know is that um, he was really health conscious. He was a vegan. He didn't abuse alcohol. I didn't know of him abusing drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, he worked out, you know, so 
you know, that, that also really concerned me because it made me think that, wow, so you mean you do all these things mm -hmm. to take care of yourself and you die so young? Mm -hmm. You know, it really that, is That's a, what's so frightening to it, many it's people. It's so frightening. What about the androgyny? Uh, I think androgyny was part of the theater. Yeah. You know, the theater of show business? The theater of show business, right? Particularly in the era that Prince became famous, right? Uh, late 70s, early 80s, David Bowie, you know, yeah. artists like that, Freddie Mercury. It didn't seem to deter women from Prince because he oh. had an amazing... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> didn't you tell me he would steal other men's women? Well, what I would tell you is don't bring your girl around Prince. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that. Right? Uh, yeah. Mistake. Huge mistake. Because didn't yeah. he reach out to you recently about women, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see, Gail, now that's private. See, you weren't supposed to say that. But it's true, though. Yeah, he called me once because he knew I, he knew I had a friendship with someone that was really beautiful, and he wanted to meet them, so he called me, and he met them. And you yeah. Good for LAB. Prince is what I say. Good, yeah. 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 By the way, that was probably the last conversation I had. This, yeah. this is a man who wrote, I want to be your lover. Yeah. Yeah. And let's go crazy. And let's go crazy. <laughs> right. yeah. we, are, we are yeah. pro that. Yes, we are pro that. And yeah. this, un, this unreleased trove of music. So there's more to come. Ellie Reed, we are so thrilled to have you here. We thank really you for being so here. Thank you thank so you much. For coming. Again, yes. thank you for celebrating the great one. Thank yes, you guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.